everybody. Today, we're going to be talking to you guys about composite figures and how to find the area in two different problems. So when we look at problem number one, guys, the first thing we want to do with these type of problems is to split the shapes up or divide them. So what that means is if I come here and I block this off or divide these two rectangles, what I'm going to have is two different rectangles where I have to find the area. So in the first one, we're going to have 12 feet multiplied by 4 feet. And just don't forget the units feet squared, okay? So what we're going to have is 48 feet squared after we find the area for this rectangle. Now when we go to this, the other one, because the way we cut it, we know we're just doing 4 times 6. So when I fill this in, I'm going to have 4 feet times 6 feet. And this is going to give me 24 feet squared. Now, after we find the area for both figures, guys, just don't forget to add it. I see students make that mistake often. Don't forget to add. And when we do, we're going to have 72, don't forget units, feet squared. So this is how you would solve. But let's just, let's start this problem back over. And let's imagine that we did not see the problem like this, and we cut or divided the shape in a different way. So let's say we did it like this. How would this change the problem? Well, for one, it's going to change our dimensions. So when we look here, we know our length, right? It doesn't matter which one we call length or width, as long as we include both. But let's say this is four feet, right? So we know our width is four feet. So how, how long is this piece here now? And to figure this out, we're going to do 12 feet minus 4 feet so we could get this small area here. Once we do, we're going to multiply 4 feet by 8 feet, and we're going to get 32 feet squared. So now this is the area for the smaller rectangle. When we go over to here now, the dimensions change. So the width is still 4, but when we look at the length, it's no longer six. What we need to do is add six with four to get 10. So now once we look at this shape here, we're gonna multiply four by 10 and we're gonna get 40 feet squared. Now when we take the areas, right? Let's just add this over and I add the area for both of them. I'm gonna get the same exact answer of 72 feet squared. So just make sure, guys, that if you divide the shapes, that you account for any missing dimensions that we have, because it will change. So we're on to the problem number two, guys. And if you enjoyed this video so far, and I said you smash the like button for us, it really helps us to get this video out to more students. So our second problem, we have a rectangle with a triangle, and we need to find the area. So luckily for us, the area for a rectangle is just length times width. So when I take 9.4 meters and I multiply that by 5.2 meters, we should get, let's just take out the calculator real quick, 48.88 meters squared. Now we're going to try to find the area of the triangle. So we know that the formula for area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So let's fill this information in. So we have areas equal to one half. Our height we know is 9.4 meters, right? That's, that's, that's the area, I mean the height. So we put 9.4 and just understand if you multiply and it's not the same exact order, we'll still get the same answer. And then the most important thing is for us to understand what is our base. So in this problem, to figure out our base, it's not 5.2 and it's not 11. To find this small area right here, we're going to do 11 minus 5.2. And once we do, that is going to give us a base of 5.8. Now, the area after we multiply is going to be 27.26 meters squared. So this is the area now for the triangle, and we're just going to double check real quick. 9.5 times 5.8 27.55 for some reason. All right, so 27.55, I was off a little bit. So now what we're going to do, guys, is we have the area for our triangle, have the area for the rectangle. 
once we add both of them together, we should get 76 meters squared. And I'm just rounding this off, guys. Um, if you want to include decimals, you can. But when we're trying to find these type of the area for these shapes, guys, just make sure you write the formula, split your shapes up, and know what your dimensions are. And you should do A-OK -okay on this topic. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is Algebra with Mr. Peters. Smash the like button for us and subscribe to the channel for more videos.